Hi, it's Ken McNamara from KRE Race Engines. On this episode of CrimSafe Talking Tech, we can explain the difference between a uh, V8 supercar engine and a uh, sprint car engine. The five litre supercar engine's all EFI fuel injected with all the electronics and the coils to uh, get that to work, where the uh, seven litre 410 cubic inch sprint car engine is all mechanical fuel injected with uh, mechanical lines injecting fuel into the back of the valve. Um, same principle, but a quite a bit different in how the fuel is managed between the engines. This one runs a magneto where this is all uh, you know, coil packed with EFI. So these engines, obviously you can see a lot taller in the trumpets compared to the V8 supercar. That's to fit under the hood of the, of the race car where these have a carbon fiber hood, which is a lot taller, which allows you to run vertically and have, not have to have the crossover. This motor is about 35 kilos lighter than, than this engine with the aluminium block, um, lighter componentry on the engine because these are obviously a very light race car, it's sort of just over 600 kilos. Everything's quite important for weight. The same as these, but these have a minimum weight by the rule of 200 kilos. These don't have a rule, so the rules are quite free on what you can do. Even with the engine, these are sort of making around 880, 890 horsepower, where these are around 630, just same thing because rules keep the engines quite tight. Everybody's probably within five or 10 horsepower in the series. Yeah, same thing, billet valve covers, billet valve covers, you know, a lot of nice parts, billet fuel injector, you know, billet fuel injector. It's quite a lot of technology in these things. Money-wise, brand new, these are about $55,000, $60,000. These are about $120,000, so there's a big difference in price, but a lot of this stuff's one-off custom made where these are a bit more generic through the US where you can, um, they sell a lot more of the product, so obviously the parts are a lot cheaper if the engines. So the, the 410 sprint car engine will run on alcohol, methanol, um, said with the magneto ignition, where the V8 supercars rule on E85 um, with the United Fuel that we run for the series, and they're all said got the electronic ignition, so different different way, but said same principle in how they run on the racetrack. So with the power of the engines, so these are at around 6:30. Even a V8 supercar is still critical to deliver the power smoothly so the drivers get a longer life out of their tyres. In a 410 sprint car, it's even worse. You've got to have you know, eight, 900 horsepower to qualify at the start of the night for those two laps, which really sees you for the night. But then as the track slickens off during the night, you need 600 horsepower because you can't drive the things because there's no grip level. So it's quite, a lot of that's in the fuel system and it's just the driver being able to deal with the engine as the night, as the track fades away during the night. So with our engine shop, 60% uh, of our business is probably uh, sprint car speedway work and 40% uh, probably the V8 supercar. You'll be doing these for probably nearly 19 years and uh, V8 supercar stuff about 15 years now. A few years ago, you know, the, some of the, the information technology we learned with these motors with coatings, um, cylinder work, you know, now transfers across to um, the uh, sprint car motors. That's just what you've learned with these being doing more of them on a regular basis. In the last four or five years, we've been able to put a lot of um, effort into these motors to bring them up to, you know, some of the stuff we use in these engines in, you know, technology and bits and pieces that we can use that correlate between the two. With the 410 sprint car, a lot of the information that we learned with these probably three, four years ago, five years ago, is now starting to correlate back into these motors um, with coatings on valves and wrist pins and pistons, which has been good because you work as US suppliers and say, well, you know, at 630 horsepower to nearly 900, these have to be a lot heavier and stronger because of simple the power that the engine makes. But it's it's going to go hand in hand. Our engine builders do both. We have dedicated engine builders for the supercar, and then we have some for the, the sprint car, but they do cross over in, in the busy times. But obviously being in the one engine room here, everybody knows what's going on and stuff. So. We've had 
you know, 15, 16 years of experience with these things and 19 years with the 410 stuff, we sort of build a business that we specialise in those two types of engines and that's why all our equipment and everything's based around this work so we can do regular rebuilds on an um, efficient basis. Buying security screens? Most CrimSafe lookalikes can pop out in just a few seconds, but the real CrimSafe doesn't, thanks to its patented screw clean. Cheap lookalikes can pop out because they're only held in with a piece of plastic. But CrimpSafe screw clamp locks the mesh and spreads the impact. CrimpSafe resists attack and corrosion and now has the ultimate warranty, 15 years. Ask for a demonstration today. Because if it's not CrimpSafe, it's not CrimpSafe.